Damn, so nice. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another day with me. Um, here's the hood. Looking real nice. Like, wow, this is so... Like, everyone keeps wondering why I wanted to repaint the whole car, because it doesn't feel like this. There are a little, little bit of dust particles in it. Um, I mean, you could see that reflection. <laughs> A little orange peely in some spots, really perfect in others, right? Like right there. There is a hair right there, which is really annoying. Kind of see it. <laughs> this is once again the downside of spraying in a place like this. Um, but yeah, I mean it's 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 perfect. I don't even want to move it. It's so nice. But anyways, uh, so we made it to stage six in the voting for SEMA. If you guys are unaware, that car, if we win, is gonna go to SEMA. It would be leaving next week. That's why we're trying to do all of this. Um, but I moved on, we won by like, I don't know, we had like 3,800 votes, the guy had like, I don't know, like something in the thousands. I didn't really pay attention, but, uh, but, but sadly my good friend Dom lost, um, to the girl Rachel with the Subaru by like 200 votes, sadly. Calvin from Calvin's Garage lost two, which means now in the next round I'm versing a 2015 or something like that, WRX, that's like bagged. So... But that's the last guy in our way to get to SEMA, so just step it up with votes. Kill them one more time. We'll kill them. Yeah, kill them for the last time before SEMA. And then at SEMA will be its own battle. But, you know, we got this. Link is in the description as always. Just go vote. Go vote every single day, every 24 hours like crazy. Let's destroy them and let's get this car to SEMA. Um, I'm going to be working real hard today. Uh, I'm going to try to get the front fenders on the car and... The front bumper and I have these like quick latches that I was talking about on the edges which are separate from the ones that the bumper clips into and I'm gonna try to figure out how those work and get them get the holes drilled for them so that I can make sure that the holes are drilled make sure that the holes are perfect like everything works I don't have to fill anything and then after that I can sand down the primer on the front bumper and on there over there on, on the fenders which are below this thing um, and then we could spray them silver and blue and clear them and then boom front end is done being painted literally the whole front end of the car is Done. So we had a few issues. Um, first of all, I accidentally um, filled this hole when I should have filled this hole. So it wasn't matching up to the bash bar thing, so I'm going to have to fill that now. Um, I got one of the fasteners to work. I'm about to start the other one. It took me like an hour to get this thing to work. Basically, there's a, there's a plate right here, riveted. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a spring, and I actually have to bend it outward because this fiberglass is too thick for it to work. If I didn't bend it, and after paint, this will be like riveted on or screwed on. Um, but it's basically, it's an old style fastener that race cars used to use. Like a lot of like 70s, 80s cars use them. Race cars, obviously. Now they mainly use these, but I couldn't really use that one for this because I need these two panels to stay together and be flush. So this kind of goes through and it hooks onto the spring and it makes a 90 degree turn to lock. Um, I'll show you how it works. I need to put the camera down, but I'll show you how it goes on. And then we can start the other side. but yeah I mean it's it's really sturdy once it's locked it's just it's kind of annoying to do because you're kind of supposed to measure the thickness of what it's going to be going through and I have no idea how thick this fiberglass is but it is very thick so I did do some shaving and stuff like that but yeah so I got this thing mounted just finally um so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take Obviously I have to take everything off now, but I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tape that and put Bondo in it so I can start filling it. And then while that's drying, I'm probably either going to go to Home Depot to get more paint 
or I'm just gonna start sanding the fenders because they're just about ready. Yeah, they're 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 ready for paint. Um, yeah, I'll see if uh, if uh, Harbor Freight has another one of these stands because it'd be nice to paint both fenders at once. Also, tomorrow we are doing the doors, so it'd be nice to have each door on there. We will be taking all the glass out the doors, we'll be cutting the first skin of it, and we'll be taking out all the impact bars since we have a, a cage with door bars, so it's okay to do that. And it's going to get me a lot of weight loss. And on top of it, the I just got a DHL notification which says uh, that the package is going to arrive tomorrow. So finally the rest of our kit, the side skirts and the rear fenders. Um, by the looks of it, those packages don't arrive till later as we learn, like 4 to 6 p.m. So like I said, I'm just going to focus on the doors tomorrow, gut them, paint them, and then when the kit comes in, we'll see what we can do and how much daylight we have left. So I just laid down the blue, silver is underneath obviously. Um, I put the fenders on the actual car to run the lines, if you guys are wondering. Obviously there's still clear coat left, so probably give this like an hour, untape everything and fully clear the entire panel all together and then I'll show you guys how I do it. Uh, as you can see I sprayed the silver in the areas where it's going to be, because obviously you know how the line runs up there. And then I put it on. Well, I don't put it on, but I put it where exactly where it sits. And uh, I just basically follow off the already lines. So I connect it to this line and connect it to this line. Um, the only line I'm going to be redoing are, is mainly this one. Because I think it has to start a little higher. And also it goes all the way to like the, right here instead of right there. And then besides that, the only line is this one. Because this one will be more angled and then it'll actually curve and go all the way around like that so that the stripe can be all the way around. Then obviously I'm also putting on the lip spoiler after paint because I do have one. I'm gonna throw another uh, silver coat of, or I mean another silver coat just to get a little bit more evenness. Uh, doesn't look too blotchy for as big of a panel as it is but there are still some spots that I need to get better. Because the metallic's annoying, it just progressively covers the paint instead of just all at once. But uh, here, let me show you the fenders. I have one on. Um, note that this isn't clear coated yet at all. So, this is not clear coated. It will be clear coated right now. I'm going to spray the bumper, wait for it to dry a little, bring it out here, and then I'll clear coat inside the two fenders. And then I'll do the pinstripe either later tonight or tomorrow but I don't know I don't think I'm gonna mount up the front end I really don't want to touch the hood the hoods underneath the plastic covers so that no overspray gets on it I mean yeah you could tell the difference of the blue um, it's a little bit darker but I think it's perfect and the silver looks almost the same it just looks maybe a little bit more white but obviously we can't tell right now because it's not clear coated so it will be more shinier afterwards I did the corners as you can see um, and that's where I'll end it I'm just gonna go ahead and close out the video now and then finish it off with the time-lapse because <sighs> it's gonna be really dusty in here and I'm not gonna want to walk around and explain stuff while all the clear is everywhere but here's the fender 
came out really well. It obviously does not have the pinstripes yet. The clear is still a little bit soft, so I don't want to mess with it. Here's the other fender, so you can see literally glass. So much better than the old paint job. And the hood is hiding behind this right here. So I'm just going to finish off the bumper, clean up the driveway, and get this over with. Today was a very, very long day. The fasteners killed me so much. A lot of things killed me, man, but whatever. Kid's coming tomorrow, so... As always, be sure to drop your daily vote, because like I said, we're in the last stage before SEMA, so just go ham, destroy, destroy, kill it with votes, seriously, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.